Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. This is a more uh, detailed way. Before that, let's try to find the natural domain and range for trigonometric function. For sine, the domain is r, you can take any value or in the in, in this uh, for example if you say sin x is equal to y sorry sin x is equal to y x can be any r any real number and y will always be between minus 1 to similarly for cos cos can also x can take any value r and y will be minus 1 to 1 so if you say cos x is equal to y in that case x can be any real number and y can be minus 1 to 1. For tan, if you see tan is not defined for tan if you see pi by 2 because tan pi by 2 is nothing but infinity. So it can take any real number minus all these uh, values which are of this form 2n plus 1 pi by 2. If you put n is equal to 0 this becomes pi by 2. If you got n is equal to 1 this becomes 3 pi by 2 that form. So so for, for such numbers, for example, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, for these numbers, tan is not defined, it is infinity. So the domain is all real number minus this 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 set and it the range is any real number. If you see tan can have any real number. Similarly for cot, same thing, it is not defined for n pi n pi type of thing so it is not defined for pi 2 pi 3 pi because for all these values it is infinity so it is any real number minus n pi and again here the range is any real number similarly for sec sec and tan is almost same because both has cos in the denominator sec is 1 by cos and tan is sine by cos so both have almost same but here you see uh, the range changes the range will be any real number minus minus 1 to 1. So it, the sec can't have values from minus 1 to 1. Similarly for cosec, cosec and cot has almost same thing because cosec is 1 by sine and cot is also caused by sine. So this part is same, the domain is same but the range if you see it is instead of r it is r minus minus 1 to 1. Minus 1 to 1 values it won't so these are my natural domain and range for trigonometric function. Please understand this. If you don't understand this, it will be difficult to understand it next in the chapter. Natural domain and range for trigonometric functions are as below. For sine, it can take any real number in this x part, but the output will always be minus 1 to 1 because that's how the sine graph is like this, right? So maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. That's all it can take. For cos also similar thing, for tan it can uh, take any values real number but it won't take 2n plus 1 pi by 2 type of uh, form and it, the output can be any. Similarly for cot also the output can be any real number but it won't take n pi type of uh, value. For sec it is any real number minus minus uh, 1 to 1 and for cosec any real number minus 1 to 1. Just to understand this memory tip if you see, just remember sine and cos the output is minus 1 to 1 correct if you say 1 by sine that is cosec the output will be any real number minus minus 1 to 1 same for sec and for tan and cot the output is any real number so we have got all these values for this part if you see sine and cos can take any real number and the tan and sec because both has 1 by cos in the uh, both has cos in the denominator can't take n pi by 2 n plus 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 form cot and cosec since it has sine in the denominator can't take n pi in the range sorry in the domain thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.